Well, Teach Art Online is going to be closing at the end of the week, and I wanted to just pop in here for a minute to address any additional questions that you might have, and I'm thinking that there might be a few. Now, I know on the sales page I addressed some questions, but I thought it was important to do that from the horse's mouth, so to speak. So you know Teach Art Online is kind of my baby, my dream come true, and I'm very, very thrilled and so proud of everything in the course. It's extremely comprehensive. You know, my husband even said to me, oh, maybe you wanna like drop some things off, and I said no, because all of the students need every single module in order to be, be able to create a really terrific e-course. I couldn't really do it any other way. It's the way I was a, a, an educator, the way I still am an educator. I believe in giving it all we've got and not to kind of dumb down any of the pieces so that people could get through it in a really fast time. The course takes place over six weeks. For some of you, you may be able to launch your e-course maybe a few weeks or a couple of months after that, which is wonderful. You already have that idea in your head and you just need you know, to, to know additional pieces. Maybe you need help with curriculum writing and how to write lesson plans. Well, that's all in there. Or you need help with figuring out how to film and edit. If that's in there, you need help with launching and thinking about different platforms. Everything is in there. And so, even though the course takes place over a six week period of time, you're gonna to need to digest the information, you're gonna to need to work on some of the assignments, figure out who your ideal learner is, and all of that good stuff. I could have had the course over a 10 week or a three month period of time, but for me, I know I might lose interest in that time. And so that's why I created it in just a six week module that you can just take all of that information in here, put it into a book, do whatever you need to do, and then take it step by step to create your e-course. I also think it's really important that you carve out time for completing the course because you definitely need to make a commitment. The course isn't for everyone. If you just want a really fast course, if you just want to do something like that, I'm going to tell you this is probably not the course for you. I've created a course that's extremely comprehensive with 90 videos and downloadable guides and the resources alone are absolutely great in addition to the bonuses that you get. I didn't want to do something quick and easy. I wanted to give you for your investment everything that you would need so you wouldn't have to search anywhere else. Maybe I could have made it smaller, I could have cut some things out, but I'm not that type of teacher. And so you really need to think, is this the kind of class do I wanna ramp up my game if I'm already teaching e-courses? Do I need to fill in some of the gaps? Or I'm just getting ready to start and I trust Alexis and she's gonna be the one that is going to help me go from A to Z. I love when students say they trust me and they know that I'm gonna deliver. They know I'm gonna deliver. And then we're gonna have those private chats mostly every week where I can get into the brains of what everybody is thinking and what help they need. You definitely need uh, high-speed internet. You wanna be able to uh, watch the videos without any problem at all. Also, this is my intellectual property and it's really not to be shared with anybody else that didn't pay for the course. You know that if you go out and sell your own e-course, everything that I'm showing, I'm modeling and giving to you are gonna be those same things that are important to you. You are not gonna want your students to pay 
for your class and then give away the course to someone else. And so we talk about a lot of this um, information because it's really important and I even give you information uh, about your legal BFF because I want you to make sure that you have everything covered. And so the content will be dripped out starting March 25th. It will be dripped out on a weekly basis. And it's not that I want to hide anything from you. It's just that I want to give you the time during that week to make sure you're able to do everything that you're that you need to do. You can download the guides, you can actually write in the guides, do whatever you want to do. And so I hope that these questions about Teach Art Online, you know, the payment plan, you have lifetime access, a private Facebook community. We are embarking on something that has never been done before. And the first time you do anything, there's always tweaks that need to be made. I want you to give yourself that grace, that patience. I've had to do that too, because I know the first time you launch something and the first time you launch your e-course, it is so true that you need to go back in and make some tweaks and listen to what your student's saying. When I first launched Energy Motion Flow, The Beauty of Alcohol Links and Beyond, even though the course that I have now, four years later, has some of those same components in it. I never changed the concept of the class. I just added 120 more videos to it. I just added more bonuses and a foundational model to it, in addition to some other pieces along the way. But that course, even though it's kind of at its, at its crux, the same course, has definitely changed and it changed because of the input that I received from students. And so that's really what I want you to know. No matter what you create, the first time out, you're gonna do something for the first time and say, oh, this is what I need to change, this is what I need to add. And I want you to be able to be patient with yourself and give yourself that grace because nothing, nothing, nothing in the beginning is perfect. But I'm here to give you all of my years of experience, not just in creating e-courses, but in being an educator and having my PhD and taking your hand and walking you step by step through everything that you need to think about in creating your amazing first e-course. Welcome to Teach Art Online.